What's going on, guys? This is Travis, also known as Dwarfstar. And um, just want to do one final update before the big day. Uh, we have only one donation so far, which is awesome. Thank you, Chris. Really looking forward to the day. Um, we have everything just about, pl everything is planned out technically, um, but I, I can't, I can't stress enough about how much this year has, I think it's going to, I think it changed everybody and they don't realize it because they feel like it's all negative, but you, you can only get better after all this. So, um, yeah, it's, it's hard. And the main reason of the, of the live stream, of course, is the donations, but the underlying true purpose of the live streaming, why I want to do it is because I want to feel good about myself and I want to do the right thing when I do that. And it's really hard to find a good balance. So there's lots of me just trying to play games. Um, most of the time I enjoy them, but a lot of the time I have to force myself to play because it's, it's hard to get into it and it's hard to persistently stay into it. I don't know if it's my personality or if it's just how the year's been going so far, but I know that tomorrow is going to be epic. And, and I know that the people that truly care about my feelings will be there. And then the other portion of people that are actually there to support feeding America will be there. And if for some reason, um, if for some reason people don't show up, we're still having fun. And I still want to put myself out there. And I want to, I want to have a place that is both enjoyable to watch. Nothing can be perfect. And I know that. And nothing's going to go exactly as planned. But God damn it, I want to fucking try. I really do. So if you really... If you really watch this whole video and you can see my side, I, I, I really just want to, I want to do good and I don't want to do it just cause I want to do it cause I want to make, I want to make a difference and that's why it's still going to, it's still going to fall through with, um, with all the events. So uh, there's no milestones. They're just happening. So if you can't donate or you choose not to because the milestones aren't going to, you know, going to change anything, I think they will. I don't want, I don't want people to look at my stream and, and think that I'm exploiting fundraisers to, um, to have views. I want people to look at my stream and see someone trying and someone inspiring others some would use the term influencer but i i can't i can't picture myself that way yet um or ever <laughs> i have i've never pictured myself that way i've always been i've always been a kind of guy where people come to me for advice um but i never really follow through with my own advice in my own world um like a lot of relationships and problems with uh, parents and roommates and all this stuff and I've I've been through all that just as much as anyone if you've been through my kind of lifestyle it's been a lot of it's a lot of good it's also a lot of bad but I want to be I want to be someone that actually makes a difference and not just exploits and not just clickbait. I want to do stuff that I enjoy. So tomorrow will be 100% joy on my part. I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be funny. It's I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to hurt. I'm technically hurting myself, but I know I like I like spicy stuff. Not that much, but like enough to not care. I'm just like, oh, this is great. But deep down, I want. I want to be 
I want to be the guy that someone can look at and go, this guy made a difference. So if you can please help me in making what's the best out of our shit of a 2020, this is honestly basically the worst year in history so far because we're the ones living it. So to us, it will it is the worst year in history. Um, it's probably not the worst year in history, but to us and our existence on this earth, it is absolutely, without a doubt, one of the worst years that we as a group can have. Of course, everyone's had terrible years. Individuals have had bad years. Families have had bad years. But as a collective, as a as an entire nation, an entire world, it has been absolute bad and it's getting it's getting to the point where it's getting to the point where if if people if people don't really look at the real problems not just you know not just the virus not just the crime but the higher the higher power in the world and in the nation and what they're doing to manipulate and what they're doing to keep control. Um, I know this isn't going to change a huge amount, but I know it's going to change a few families' lives. Even that $10 that Chris already donated, and I plan on donating at least maybe 10 20 you know, during the stream I might throw some in there. And, and, and who knows, um, we could we could have an amazing person come in and just cap it out instantly, you know? People do that sometimes. But I'm not expecting it. I want to... I just want it for them. I don't want... I don't want anything for me. I got everything I need. And, I, and it took me all year to realize that I already have everything I need. It's not about... It's not about constantly getting things to make me happy it's not about this but this is what brings me happiness truly like i can just remember all the times as a kid growing up it's been nothing but all the good times i can remember had that involved so maybe a nostalgia trip for me and look pointless to others but I know that it's gonna it's gonna make me feel really good and it's gonna make me want to do more good and it makes me want to persistently be good um, yeah I don't know how I'm gonna edit this video there's a lot of like random tangents let me just basically sum it all up I want what is best for myself those around me and those that are way less fortunate than me i am i have a roof on my head i i got i have stuff <laughs> i have things i have a uh, family i have a wife i have i have a lot of great amazing things and the fact that it take it took me a whole year to realize that after just sitting doing almost nothing since March and I constantly think like the past eight years of my life right since the day of March in 2012 eight years spent in one one job one organization just to be tossed out like a dirty dish rag after it was well used and worn ripping Losing fibers, no longer able to soak up the water, no, no longer able to suck up the messes. But goddamn, I'd ring myself out so many fucking times. Constant. But now, I feel like a sham wow. I feel. I feel like. I can I can take in things again and you know it's not going to rip me up it's not going to tear me down anymore I really want to kind of feel like 
lack of better words, just feel like me. I've been avoiding streaming the past few days. More like two weeks almost, technically. Um, just because I have so much boggling my mind constantly. And it's... It's hard. It's not... It's not like... It's not sickening. But it is something that needs to be discussed with some a professional. And I'm not going to... would never hurt myself. But... You just have those days. And sometimes you can't get out of them. And then it turns into you can't get out of those weeks. And this pandemic has taught me major, major things. But in order to learn those things, I had to go through the experience myself. So if I had all this stuff and I had enough support and I had a family and I still feel like that, imagine how the families feel that didn't have the support and don't have the family and don't have the people around them they need. Probably pretty tough. Basically, all I want to say is that for those that are around and those that did support me and those that actually saw what I was trying to do and make a difference, I just want to say thank you and I appreciate you guys a lot. And now I hope that tomorrow is going to be one hell of a fucking day and we're going to kick ass and we're going to. We're going to raise enough money to help families, even if it's enough to raise enough money for one family. That's a win in my book. But uh, we're going to have a lot of fun tomorrow, guys, and I really hope to see you there. If uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe. I bet there is... I only have 22 subscribers thus far, and I'm not going to lie. That's like... I got like 20 subs in about like three months. So if I keep persistent and keep trying, I'm sure it's going to go up. My Twitch followers are way higher than they've ever been. It's only a couple hundred, but that's a lot. And uh, to me, I'm grateful. So thank you all very much. We'll see you on the 31st, 3 p.m. PST for the Feeding America live stream. I can't wait, guys. Peace out.